Guyana, with its abundant natural resources and fertile lands, is increasingly turning its attention to agro-processing as a means to revolutionize its agricultural sector. Agro-processing, the transformation of raw agricultural produce into value-added goods, offers numerous economic and social benefits, positioning Guyana as a key player in the global market. With its diverse array of crops and a commitment to sustainable practices, Guyana is poised to harness the full potential of agro-processing, unlocking new adventures for growth and prosperity. The government of Guyana is keen on meeting the 25% by 2025 reduction in the Regional Food Import Bill and shielding against supply shortages. In the 2023 national budget, $2 billion was dedicated to four food security projects, agro-processing included which will serve as a barometer for measuring the success of the agriculture sector this year. Guyana's favorable tropical climate, fertile soils, and ample water resources make it an ideal location for agricultural production. The country boasts of a diverse range of crops including rice, sugar, fruits, vegetables, timber, and spices. This rich agricultural tapestry provides a solid foundation for agro-processing enterprises, enabling the country to tap into various value chains and establish a robust agribusiness ecosystem. The agro-processing sector is a critical element of government's push for enhanced food security and broad-based sustainable economic growth. Through adding value to primary production, agro-processing not only helps to improve household agriculture income, but also enhances the potential for growth in export earnings. Government is therefore committed to continuing efforts to support and promote investments in agro-processing. In 2022, agribusiness incubators were established in Perica, Fort Wellington, St. Ignatius, and Wetuka. The procurement of equipment for the agro-processing and packaging facilities in Safaya, Perica, and Mabaruma were advanced. Moreover, new processing facilities at Whitewater Creek and Charity are expected to be commissioned this year. In 2023, government will invest in new agro-processing facilities in Crabwood Creek and Oriello, construct a new cold storage facility in Bartica, and procure two new refrigerated trucks to support transport of inputs and agro-products. Agro-processors will also benefit from the establishment of another Guyana shop and a marketing information center in Bartico. As a government, we recognize also that the farmers, when they produce, we have to find market for their produce. That is why today GMC has been tasked with the task of finding the market. And today Guyana produce is in demand around the Caribbean. We have to be the processor. We have to be the manufacturer. And that is why, as a government, we are making these facilities. And we are not doing it in Georgetown. This year alone, at the end of 2022, we will commission almost nine facilities like these across this country in different parts and rural areas. One of the significant advantages of agro-processing lies in its ability to generate employment, especially in rural communities. As agro-processing facilities are established across the country, more jobs are created in areas such as food processing, packaging, quality control, logistics, and marketing. This in turn reduces rural-urban migration, enhances livelihoods, and promotes inclusive growth. The development of agro-processing clusters can transform rural areas into vibrant economic centers, fostering a balanced and sustainable approach to national development. A $15 million new facility was created, which allows farmers in St. Ignatius and surrounding villages in Region 9 the opportunity to process peanuts and cashew nuts. Additionally, a community-based agro-processing operation in Hosororo Region 1, called the Blue Flames Women's Group, are producing chocolate. Cocoa and other raw materials are purchased from farmers in the community and are then processed at the group's factory to make various products. Another state-of-the-art facility was commissioned at Fort Wellington, West Coast Barbies to the tune of $37 million. The facility was a commitment made by Minister of Agriculture to enhance the quality of agriculture products in the region. If I have a large amount of produce and I don't have people to buy it, I now have somewhere to process it. This here is going to build me financially 
is going to help a lot of women because I'm the chair for the women's group in Cotton Tree. And I see this here as an opportunity for our women. Our women can make her money from this. They can do a lot of stuff. To commission this facility is, is a real plus to Region 5 and for young farmers because, um, as I say in the closing remarks, that a lot of pro produce that will be waste cannot be waste anymore. It's going to be processed and come into other byproduct by of in agriculture products. Farmers of Kurukururu and surrounding areas benefited from a smart agro processing facility in 2022. This made a great to all farmers of Kurukururu because for me this is a great initiative because for the years we've been struggling here with head oil that can't really take the local market by just selling head oil. So this processing facility that they have put in place here, this will do wonder for us. The PPPC administration recognizes the transformative potential of agro-processing and has taken significant steps to position itself as a leading agro-processing hub in the region. Various initiatives including financial incentives, technical assistance and capacity building programs have been launched to encourage investment in the sector.